Hey everyone, just thought I'd do a quick update on what's been going on. So here's all my French radishes, my French breakfast radishes. Um, we do have a frost warning tonight. That I believe is a volunteer tomato. We'll take a quick walk down and look at the uh, potatoes. So nothing's coming up yet that I can see in here. Um, that one, this one actually has started to show. This one actually has started to show. And I didn't see anything in these two. Take a walk over. So I have a couple peppers out. These were extras that I had. I figured uh, I planted them a few days ago. So just to see what's going on, see if they'll make it. Um, we do have cold weather, chilly weather at night still. So I don't know. We'll see if they don't make it. I'll pull them out and put the new ones in. I do have uh, my garlic is going good. This is a tomato plant that I started probably three weeks before frost. I just put the seed out here to see if it would come up. And so far it did. It's been, uh, it's been in the cold. It's been snowed on. And it's still doing okay. And here's the other potato. We'll come around, you can see that one there starting to show. And there's a couple spots where there's cracks here, here, and over here, and over there, which it looks like uh, I moved it away a little bit just to take a, a peek. And uh, the potatoes are coming up. So, so far so good with those. Hopefully they will, we won't actually get a frost or say in 39 degrees or 36 degrees. So here's my other starts. These actually were germinated outside. Um, I'd bring them out during the day with the covers on until they all germinated. Um, some of them are still coming up. This one's, uh, this one's starting, that one's starting, and that one's starting. So I just water them. I bring them in at night. But uh, they've germinated in the sun. These are uh, dill, mammoth dill. These are verbena flowers. There's a couple. You can... See one there, and one little guy over there. These are a bunch of beans, cucamelons, uh, pickling cucumbers, gray zucchini. Um, there's one, this one here, and this one here were from Dan Permaculture Food Forest. Those are the, I can never remember the name, Rom Romanesco. Those are flowers back there, zinnias, that uh, are looking a little rough. Not sure why. I've been watering them and bringing them in the sun here and there. They've been out plenty. Um, these, are, these are my tomatoes that um, I'm keeping. I still have a couple in some of these um, because I, I pretty much ran out of dirt. So they will stay multiples in there until they... Until they're ready to be planted um, so here's the peppers starting to bud here 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 and here um, they got quite a few buds I'm gonna have to pinch them off um, I got some cauliflower here what's this one this is a hatch pepper and this is my secret seed I have two of those the other one died off I don't know why but uh he died off but the two of them are still going good now, this is another cauliflower here. All right. Then I have another couple trays of my spare plants in the house. But uh, I won't bother showing you them. Just wanted to show you what I got going on for now. Oh, and for anybody, if you like lupine flowers. So we had about five lupine flowers planted in that area right over there. There was like five of them right on the corner. And in the fall, they actually seeded, and I just let them drop the seeds. All that big green area all in here and going all over here is all lupine flowers. That was full of lupine flowers. There's still a bunch in there, and that's where I picked all these. 
I actually pulled them all up very carefully to get to make sure because they have a nice long tap root when they're small. So I picked them up and pulled them out and we will be replanting some of these. Lupines will actually drop a lot of seeds. They may, they may not come back in my zone. Um, if you have a warm enough zone, they will regrow in the same place. But uh, here, when it freezes, they actually die, but they dropped a ton of seeds, as you can see. So those are all lupine plants. And I'll show you our lilac. This is a multicolored lilac bush. So you have the nice purple and white. And then you have the, it comes out white. It looks pink when it starts, but then it actually is white when it starts to bud. They're very pretty. And we have another lilac bush back there that is just starting to bud. I don't know if I could zoom in. I can. Look at that. So it's just starting to bud up now. So yeah, that one should be uh, putting out some lilacs pretty soon as well. All right, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Until next time, grow something. See ya.